welcome back to Hidden Springs. My name is Ajax Post and this is the Dynasty Chronicles Generation 4. And this is our youngest member of the family and the only one who is actually still awake, even though it is 6.06, 6.07 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, everyone else has gone to bed, um, but for some reason, young Freya is, uh, is uh, still very much awake. Even Doggy Daisy has, uh, has uh, gone slumber-wise. For a nap. Uh, there appear to be all sorts of pranks set up in the house. I wonder who could have done that? Erica Slade, snuggled up in bed. Yeah, looking all innocent. Ha! <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, uh, before we get into today's adventures, whichever, whatever they might be, because I certainly have got no idea, um, you may have noticed I've rearranged the house just a little tiny bit, um, that I've moved Freya out of a cot in her father's room. Uh, and here he is, uh, keeping that room to himself and his partner, Dre Dexter Pruitt, who I uh, recently moved into the house because I I was getting frustrated by not being able to control him at all. So he's now part of the family. But I'm going to try and keep hands off as much as I can with regards to him. Because as you know, I struggled keeping up with the, the main characters of the family, let alone any additions. So I'm going to do very little for, for Dexter and hopefully he'll look after himself. Um, and I've just moved her out into her, into her own room here. She'll soon be a child, and uh, she's now got sort of room to grow. And I've added a couple of toys in there as well. Okay, so what is uh, Johnny up to? Uh, let's just uh, pause on this for a second. He's he's got no particular need for for anything. So um, I think yes, he will get changed into one of his his favourite outfits. Uh, change outfit. What should we what should we go for? Athletic. What does he look like in athletic actually? He's thinking about his wife, obviously. That looks fair enough. Okay, can you do the laundry? Do the laundry then. Bright and early in the morning. Oh, and Erica's up. Yeah, she went to bed quite early. Uh, again, she has no particular... She's making a bed, pretending to be a good girl. Oh dear, somebody has sacked off work. Regular Clark cannot make it today. Luz Law will be not... Will Oh, oh that Luzl will be working on this shift. The trouble is I don't know which of my shops that is referring to. It's so different. So anyway, my retail outlets more accurately. So it could be any of them. Okay, so what's Erica got in store? It's Sunday, so she doesn't have any school today. Uh, has, uh, has she done her homework? It looks like she has complete excellent a wall between us she needs to get on the honor roll but that's about it uh, should we look at her skills uh, she's good on the violin good on the guitar we don't have uh, an ambition for her her lifetime ambition yet uh, so she could tidy that away couldn't she uh, does a dog need tending to she is best friends with dog Daisy down there, so uh, she could take care of that. Actually, let's get a change to start with. We don't want everyone, like most of them do through most of the days in this series, end up spending most of the day in their nightwear. Um, so we will uh, we'll change you into what my everyday two look like. Why do you need to go out into the into the hall, into the corridors to change your outfit? What are you doing? What I Okay, so Freya's asleep now. Oh, but what is error? I don't understand. I give them instructions and they simply whose phone is that? <laughs> whose phone is that? Is it uh... oh dear it's Johnny. Ooh. Will it be that Alexis woman chasing him again? I don't know. Ooh. Car oh, Carly! Hello, hello, Carly! I think we have styled Carly. Would you like to chat? Yeah, sure. We'll do that. But I would suggest moving out of the laundry room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Uh, right, so what is Erica up to? Oh, she's changed. What she... Oh, where's... Ah, there's... There's baby Freya. Oh, Erica put her back in her cot. There you go. She's not that awake yet. There you go. Okay, I was planning really on on sort of letting them sleep through to the morning and then seeing what 
fun activities they got up to and then starting the episode there. But as usual, because they all went to bed at ridiculously different times, I have <laughs> an opportunity to do anything with any of them, basically. Um, so, okay, so she's hungry. Now, Mummy did actually make dinner last night, but I'm not sure if... Uh, I'll go on grilled salmon, why not? Okay, John is fine. Everyone else is fast asleep. Dexter Dexter might be getting up soon, actually. Um, okay, we'll get him fed. He does have a wish to become a chef, so I'm going to give him that career, which should mean that at least for some part of the day, I don't have to worry about controlling him. Which is going to be great news. <laughs> great, honestly. I really, I really should not make family so big. Oh, you're up quite early, Erickson. You, you stayed out quite late making that, that metal sculpture. Again, you're hungry. We'll get you changed. Uh, yeah. Everyday two. What's your everyday three look like? Okay, that's cool. Okay, we'll send you down to have some salmon as well. What's Johnny up to? Play computer games. No, it'd be nice if you did something. Actually, you could have a shower actually quickly before the rest of the family get in there. But I have a suspicion this shower might go right. Oh, Dexter's up. Uh, you're going to eat. Excellent. Good man. You see, he can look after himself. That is most excellent. It's exactly the sort of fellow we want in the house. There you are. Though he's not changed out of his nightwear. Oh. Papers. I really can't keep up with paper deliveries. <laughs> but we do need them to work out where the hot spots, hot spots are. Because I think Ericsson, yeah, still needs to go to a few if he can. Uh, where where is Ericsson? He's eating. Ah, you're right, Erica, you're fine. Uh, you you could have a, a wash your hands and brush your teeth kind of moment, just to bump up your. Oh, he's got yellow hair! Yay! What a prank! <laughs> That's. No, he doesn't like it. Why does he not like it? I think it looks fabulous. Oh, oh well. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm go go and get, get get. If I double click that, or click that, no, I think it needs to be in here, doesn't it, for him to automatically respond and do it himself. Eat leftovers. Everyone's loving the veggie salmon. I'm not quite sure what what is vegetarian about salmon. To be honest, okay, these two boys are ignoring each other. That's um, yeah. <laughs> okay, Good job. that's fine. Uh, right, and uh, what's? Oh, that's Ethan. Right, she's still asleep. Erickson is going to take care of them washing the laundry. Splendid. Oh, yeah. Erica and Dexter. Hello. They're having a chat, which is all well and good. I think you should get in there and use that. So I want him to carry on. Yes, come on, people. Come on, people. Another regular clerk couldn't make it, so someone else is taking that shift. So I think, uh, yeah. If if er Erica moves in there, does that mean both those guys are going to move out of the? No, Dexter wants to use it as well. Okay, in which case Erickson will have to use the one upstairs. It's so handy having two in the house. And Deborah is eating. 
That's fine. Freya is asleep, which is awfully nice, as is uh, Ethan. He did quite well last night at work. Got a nice pay raise. All splendid. Right, I think Dexter, you're seeing as you're looking like you don't need any uh, needs fixing. Does that make sense? I think it does. It did to, did to me. Uh, we'll send you. Yeah, I think I've only got one rabbit hole restaurant left on the map. So he will. Yeah. Not quite sure what got up stables there. Maybe one day I'll, I will play with all. I, I don't think, to be honest with you, and this may sound so shocking, or even socking, <laughs> after however many years I've played the game. I have never actually played with horses. Yeah, I never really. I've, I've never been a horsey. I've never been sort of equine in, interested in the equ, equ, in the equine, equine, whatever. Yeah, I, I, I've never been interested in horses personally. So, oh, there's another restaurant there, a deep fried diner or the coffee house. We'll go to the diner. Uh, yeah, go and jo go and get a job there. That's fine. Right, Johnny. Right, it looks like everyone's out of there now, so you can use that one. Deborah's eating. Uh, Erica. Uh, she does need to use that. Is is it? Uh, oh, Erickson's finished. Uh, um, what he actually? What we'll do? I want him to shower. So Erica, don't do that. No, no, Erica, come down here and tidy away the dog's toys. Okay, and then put some food in the bowl. So I want you to, um, actually I'm not sure what, what I want Erica to do yet. Uh, oh, uh, Johnny Slade, a stipend. Okay, even though he doesn't, didn't do any work today, that is fine. Hello. Dexter? No, go act. Ugh. Why has he not gone and got his job? <clears throat> Am I going to have to follow you there? Where's, the, where's that restaurant again? There it is. Join the culinary career. Because then that was a, a wish, wasn't it? Yeah. Sure, so are you going to do that? Oh, this Vicky Howe is persistent, isn't she? Wanting a job and all. Oh, he's taken the fancy car. He's taken Johnny's fancy car. Well, I'm not sure Johnny will be happy about that. Oh, it goes too fast for me to keep up with. Right, are you going to get that job? Yes, 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 yes. He's walking in. Right. I'm going to assume for the moment that he's going to do that. Well, we check in on the rest of the family. Johnny uh, has no particular needs. 18 friends. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Oh, well, sticking in there anyway. Um, improve his handiness. Oh, do we need to... What he could do is get the clean laundry for a start. Uh, let's make that unbreakable. Yeah, that uh, that will that will help, I think. Uh, his handiness skills. He's 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 one of these old guys. He's although he's a, by profession a stylist, as you as you can tell from this remarkably fashionable on trend outfit. That's too far away. Um, he is actually a stylist by profession, but uh, he likes to keep his his hand in uh, at one of his early skills, which was fixing things, and that's exactly what he's going to be doing right now. Let's get the walls down again. Uh, Daisy is going for toys. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Ericsson. Uh, right, OK. Now, we did have a opportunity to make a sculpture. 
uh, which he just started at the end of the last episode when I finally worked out how to actually make sculptures with metal. It's remarkably easy once you've learned actually just click on something and then click something which says do it. Who knew you could do that? Uh, apparently I didn't. Uh, it's the theatre. No, it's that. It's this one here. It's not that. It's this. So just let let the little beauty render. And then, there we are. and then you can continue that sculpture. Um, I'm not quite sure what the reward will be. Something probably. <laughs> But it's nice. It's something different for him to, for him to do. Uh, okay, so Dexter, do you want a job? Yes, you do. Okay, so Vicky is still messing about. Congratulations, Dexter. Okay, and Vicky, how is? Oh, I don't understand this. <laughs> Very odd going on. Okay, uh, where is? Dexter. Now when's he going to be working? Uh, not for a day or so, but he does need to learn cooking and I did have him reading a... Oh, he's met somebody. Ooh, who's this then? I was chatting with Who's Rochelle? Mm -hmm. Who is this woman? Why do I keep pressing that key? The, the <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid I'm I'm playing a variety of games at the moment, all of which. Oh, that Vicky Howell woman. If she's not careful, I'm going to sack her myself directly. Uh, right. All all these games, of course, have different control keys, um, and one I'm playing a lot at the moment. Uh, uses the spacebar a lot, so I'm keep hitting that, and it does weird things in The Sims. Right, so this is Rachel, or whatever her name was. Rachel, yeah, that that'll do. Fine. Um, uh, do we know who this woman is? Where could he have met her? I don't know. Is it one of his uh, work friends? Oh. Can you... Uh, yeah, you can check that in here, can't you? Oh, he's got a buff boss, Stephen. His friends... He's only <laughs> the only friends he's got are his, fa his kind of father-in-law. Uh, Johnny... Uh, Johnny. I, I mean, uh, Ethan and uh, and Dexter aren't actually married as yet. I, mean, I might get them married. I'm not sure yet. Um, household? No. Yeah, he knows a few tourists and other people, and indeed a dog. But no, that's that's fine. Uh, right. So where where's I going? I was I don't know where I was going. Uh, Ethan, Erickson's doing that. Uh, Erica, we need to get Erica doing something interesting. Oh no, there's a face and a half. Well, what's what's her problem? <laughs> oh, she's doing the old critiquing thing again. Oh dear, Deborah. Right. She does need a shower, and she really, she really ought to get dressed for the day. So uh looks like the the yellow hair dye uh, has gone, so she hope she'll come out of that as as <laughs> in the same colour that she went in. And uh, Freya is not awake yet. Good. Oh, she might be awake in time for Ethan to, to deal with her. Right. Talk to Oh we can do that. Are you talking to the dog? Be barked at. Where where is Daisy? There you are. Uh, da, 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 da. Is it play? Uh, affection? Talk? I was going to say talk to, and we'll do that in a moment. I will just very briefly save my game. So here we are, back in the back in the game. <laughs> right, we're going to talk to Daisy. That's good. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, is uh, oh Johnny is fixing the machine, and uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, right. Uh, where's, where's Dexter? Is he still talking to that woman? He is indeed. Well, 
Well, his original career was was if you, if you may recall was paparazzi. So so maybe it's uh, someone from from that uh, dubious past of his, quite possibly. Tourists wear tourists from Egypt. That will be an Egyptian uniform, I suppose. <laughs> Do seem to like the diner here, or maybe it's the same guy just walking round and around and around in circles. Who knows? Right. No, no, stop. Oh, sorry about that. I'm pressing, <laughs> pressing the spacebar again. No. Right. Okay. I'm gonna. So I mean, yes, this, this is obviously something going on here. That uh, Dexter likes rigging people up, but you're not going to do that. I'm going to have you attend a cooking class. Right, that should keep. Don't press, press the space bar. Right. Alex, oh, Alexis White. Ew. What's she doing? Oh. In her. Oh, she's got some evil plan in mind. Yes. Whoops, whoop, whoop, there we go. Yes. She's probably just, she's probably arranging or planning another flirting session with uh, with Johnny or someone. Uh okay. So this tourist has <laughs> has, has spotted Dexter going in for, for training, for attending his cooking class, and has already Fallen a little bit in lust with him. There's too, there's too many lusty people in this this family. Rufus Dork, we've seen Rufus. Oh, I should know who Rufus belongs to. But I don't. Oh, that is terrible, isn't it? <laughs> so back at home. So Deborah has okay. So she has washed and dressed. Uh, I think she could do some painting. Uh, where's her career at the moment? She needs a fair amount. Oh, she's earned. If she can get four hundred simoleons by the look of it from her, from a new painting, she'll uh, she'll earn a promotion. She can do that. I think she did. She, she did street art uh, last uh, last episode. Yesterday that will be. So we will have her do that. Erica, what are you? Mock a pit. <laughs> you are a wicked child. Um, actually, what you need to do is there anything you can go and do in the town? Is there a fair? So is a fair. Oh no, they're just uh, stall holders. The fair's in Hidden Valley, uh, in Springs rather. Um, don't seem to be terribly well attended, even when they fully render. <laughs> Uh, so I'm not uh, sure if going here would do us any any real good. Is there anybody here? No. Okay, does she have any friends that she could phone up outside the family? There's Jude, Rihanna, Aunt. Oh, she could go and see, go and see her aunt, Dame Dolly. She doesn't appear to have uh, any relationship with her other aunt, Desiree. Well, that's kind of a shame. So what we can do, uh, I think, uh, if I can remember where Dolly lives, I think it's in one of these, uh, is it? One of these houses. But there's nobody there. That's her school. Dolly did live. That's Jude. Dolly did live in a big house here with her husband, but uh, since he sadly passed away, she has downsized somewhat. So she knew she knows the Renteras. Uh, there's nobody there either. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, I think what she'll do, it's its the last day of summer, I think. Yet yeah, one day until autumn. I think she'll enjoy this good weather. And perhaps go for a swim at the uh, activity centre. And there are, there's often other people here as well. But often there are, you know, but, but maybe not today. 
Did I see someone? Oh, there is someone. There is a barista attending. Excellent. <laughs> that certainly makes a change. Uh, right. So I think she can come here and uh, swim with. Uh, what's Johnny up to? Oh, he's doing the fixing thing still. No, I think she will just come here for a swim on on her own. There you go. Uh, is Ethan? Ah, Ethan is up. Right, let's see what he's up to. Uh, again, they don't get dressed. Okay, so we will. Uh, do you have any particular needs? You need hygiene, so you can have a shower. An evil one, if you wish. Okay, now baby Freya is still asleep, but she will need changing and feeding soon. So hopefully, uh, Ethan will be finishing his shower before that that need arises. Okay, so it looks like we have got everyone doing something. I wonder how he's getting on with his... Ooh! Ericsson has just improved his sculpting level to level five. Whoa! Ericsson, he, he learned most of that at um, at his art school. I don't think he's done much sculpting since, to be honest, as, as you may recall. But he did a, uh, did go on an, art, on, a, on an arts course. I'll try and speak with words rather than sounds. It sometimes makes it slightly easier to comprehend whatever it is whatever it is that I'm trying to say um, so he has become quite formidable formidable with the usual sculpting tools but has been eager to try the powerful chainsaw okay good I'm not at all worried about that <laughs> it's just as well as he is ready to get started with the beautiful transcendental medium of ice a chilly new world awaits Ooh, I don't think I've sculpted in ice. But the question is, has he actually finished the sculpture he was making? There was a movie playing in the in the theatre. It's still a long way. It only required three items of scrap, this particular sculpture, but it's taking him days to complete. It really is quite extraordinary. So as Ethan steps out of the shower, Splendid. We notice that Dexter has improved his cooking skill to level two. There's so much improvement going on in this episode. It is remarkable. These are such talented, talented people. I'm glad I'm glad I'm friends with them. OK, I created them, really, but that's not the point. He can now prepare chilled... chilled... <laughs> I can't, I can't speak, I can't even read. Uh, Dexter can now prepare grilled cheese and goopy carbonara. Delicious, apparently. Yeah. And he's ready to jump into the frying pan of the culinary crafter, the kitchen specialist, the deliverer, deliverer of delicacies. It'll take a lot of time behind the stove and in front of a cookbook. But Dexter will never be without company when everyone knows he can perfect their favourite foods. Yeah, we did have a really good cook in the uh, in the early gen in generation three. Um, it would have been Malia, I think, Carl's wife, um, who was a really good cook. But uh, since then, people have been sort of haphazardly learning it. I think Deborah's probably come closest to any sort of skill at it. And she, and actually, she is quite good, to be fair. So it would be nice to have a proper cook, chef type of person in the. Uh, in the family so what's he doing okay so he's come from there now he will prepare a meal later but what he can do uh he's at, has oh actually what he can do because he has got a book in his inventory because i had him starting start reading it uh, late last night before you came back and joined me is that nawaf he's been stood there all afternoon waiting for Dexter to come out. Are they actually going to engage in... They are! They're going to talk about silly faces. Okay, that's a really grown-up kind of thing to do. Yeah, and we're going to put a stop to that because, Dexter, you're going to the library. Where's the library? Where is the library? There you go. Go there. And then you can read your book. Uh, Ethan, no. 
you are not playing computer games, you are having to deal with your child. He's still asleep. Gosh. And uh, remarkably smelly. Yeah, she is sleeping, that's true. So, Ethan, you're going to wake her up. You know you're not going to command the dog to hold. To guard, even. Um, you can change an appy because she's a bit unhygienic, as we saw. And then you can feed her on the floor. Um, I did, I don't know, you might have noticed, I think it started at the end of the last episode. I was having trouble with the fridge. People weren't able to get to it. Um, so I've actually changed it out. Um, uh, in the process, I thought it might be the fact that the snug-a-lot, swing-a-lot thing chair was getting in the way. I don't think it was that, but I got rid and sold, sold it anyway. Where's Erica going? Oh, so she's going to use the facilities. Okay, Dexter's at the library. I did say I wasn't going to control him, didn't I? And what am I doing? <sighs> I don't know. Uh, there you are. Okay, so you can come here and read your book. Because you read better when you're in a bookish environment. You, you learn better when you're in a bookish environment. Erica's nearly finished. Erica's playing with the dog. Johnny's nearly finished. Oh, hello, who are you? Diego Pretta. I have added, since the last episode again, a number of new characters into the town because we were getting a little bit empty. We were getting overwhelmed with paparazzi as well, so I tried to cut some of those down, but as soon as I started this episode, <laughs> the game automatically recreated all these paparazzi characters. Uh, so we've still got as many of those. Uh, now, Diego, I can't always remember if you're a new sim that I added. You might well be. Um, quite a few of them, unfortunately, I couldn't quite tell where I got them from. Um, if if I can, uh, I will add any links to the, uh, the sims in the exchange. Uh, if I could identify them, and they are still there. Uh, so I'll do that if I can. Ethan, he's playing computer games again. Now, did you actually get your child up? Oh, you did. Excellent. So Freya... She's going to play with the toys. She'll probably go to the toilet on her own. Erica is playing catch with the dog. That's fine. But you do need a wash, I think, really. So we'll send you up there. Right, let's, uh, if I get control of the... There we go, shower that. Now, actually, what we'll need to do, because uh, yesterday... Daisy was sent out hunting and actually came back. Yay, Johnny's finishes upgrade. Came back with this. A lump of gold. Yeah, worth 103 simoleons. Now, can we send... Can uh, Ethan get it smelted? And will that turn into something more valuable? There is, there is a rule book. Um, I found, and I, I'm sure I have got it here somewhere. I actually, print, do you remember printing stuff out? Yeah, I, I did that once. <laughs> I actually printed out kind of the rules for for gems and and metals and stuff, as to, to when it's worth actually getting it smelted or cut or whatever. Uh, so which ones actually came back more valuable uh, than they were originally? And I can't remember about gold, but I'm going to get it smelted anyway. Just give him something useful and interesting to do. Okay, Johnny, you have completed that upgrade. So you've now done 9 out of 10. Well done. So there you are. You can uh, reward yourself with a little bit of uh, relief. <laughs> uh, Dexter's reading. Erica's going to do that. Erica's going to walk through doorways before having a shower. Uh, Freya... If she needs the potty, she Yay! Okay, right, so Dexter has improved his skill to level three. Well done, Dexy. Can I call him Dexy? Oh. But he's now but he is now on his own at the library, having read that book. Is that still in your inventory? Good, because I can put that back in the family library. Uh, who is this chap? Diego doesn't have a job or anything. 
How about uh, read something extreme? No, let's go and yeah, have a chat to this this fellow. <laughs> Not quite sure why he's laughing. Oh, but before we do that, Ericsson has completed his sculptor, a good the Steely Dalian. <laughs> Steely Dalian. Honestly, I have not actually been drinking today. I am sober. I, I usually am sober. To be honest. Don't, don't, don't get the wrong impression. That I usually am sober, but I, I do enjoy a good beer or or, or a good uh, little glass of scotch or some such. Um, but I, I have not touched anything uh, of that order today. So I am actually sober, but still incapable of actually reading and saying words in their original language, the language what I speak normally, which is, I'm told... English. Um, but anyway, so Ericsson, I'll start again, shall I? So Ericsson Slade has sculpted a good the steely stallion. It's a stupid thing to say anyway, which obviously why I got it wrong. In metal. Yes. Uh, it is worth 200 simoleons. You can move it or sell it in buy mode. However, uh, I th think an erase. Uh, yeah, you can try that. Uh, yeah, I, I still want him to form a band, but I'm not sure how that's going to work out. <laughs> right, let's get, if we get that into his uh, inventory, into his pocket, somehow. That is a mighty fine looking sculpture, isn't it? Whoops, there we go. Come around here. Oh, yes. Too far. <laughs> yes, that looks good. If we get, in, get it in his pocket, yeah, don't walk away, uh, then I can... Uh, no, I can... Don't, don't streak, good grief, man. Um... Uh, bitter, oh, okay, yeah, bittersweet saltiness is a very strange name for a metal sculptor, sculpture of a stallion. But I'm, I'm not. No, I'm going to make no judgments. No, no can, can I get that in my inventory, or do I have to? No, um, it doesn't look like a can. So do I need to do this? Except I can't. Uh, you can move or sell it in buy mode. No, I want him to. Uh, I want him to pick it up so that he can then give it to, to the chappy who wanted it. You remember him? Whatever, Johan. Somebody, I think his name was his name. So uh, I. Uh, no, we don't want to sell it. Can he pick it up? Can he do view, sell? No, don't. Oh. Strange looking tail, but there you go. If you're making a sculpture from. Mm. Can he not put this in his um, inventory at all? This this is very um, annoying. He's got nothing useful in his inventory. I've got an old newspaper. Don't want that. Yes. Um, okay. Um, right. I need. Give me a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So the trick is that we need to get this sculpture into the family inventory, which. Uh, yeah. But the problem we have with that is that, that takes us to the house. And the sculpture isn't in the house because he's gone somewhere with a sculpting table, an art centre, to actually make it. So, um, right. And we can't move off here, can we? I wonder. 
Right. Give me another moment, another second of your time. Thank you so much for your patience. Okay, so what, <laughs> what I just tried to do, um, I didn't think it would work, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway, uh, was going into Edit Town to see if that uh, enabled me to move that sculpture into the family inventory. And uh, no, it doesn't, because the family inventory doesn't exist uh, when you're editing uh, the town. Well, certainly when you're editing another building other than their, their home lot. And because I was editing the, the art centre there, um, poor old Ericsson here got uh, immediately transported back home. So uh, what we have him do, I think, might as well, uh, is get him back to that art centre. <laughs> Actually, does he need to go back to sell it? I don't know. Let's see, shall we? And here we go. Thank you. And down into the building. Sell it for 200. So is he going to go back there to sell it? It looks like he is. Yep, he's off flying on his backside. Uh, okay, so what's uh, Erica up to? Oh, Ethan. Uh, no, don't, oh, don't put her in the crib. Because she's, she's not tired. Get her out. Uh, no. Uh, let Freya out. And then we will send you to use the facilities. I thought Erica was going to go swimming. Mm. Okay, anyway, what Ethan needs to do is needs to make use of that. And then he can go to work. Uh, okay, now did just check because my sims have a habit of not doing what I asked them to. Looks, yeah, it looks like Ethan has sent that gold off to be smelted. Uh, Ericsson is going there. Erica, uh, is it too late for a swim? No, it isn't. I think she should still go for that. She didn't come home because, no, no, she, she didn't come home because I sent her to, uh, oh, because I went into Edit Town, did she? No. So are you going to set off? We spent all day playing with Doggy. There you go. And your little VW Beetle. Meanwhile, Ericsson has sold his sculpture. So it looks like we're going to need a sculpting table at home for Ericsson. No, you're not going to make anything else. And the barista's gone. Uh, is there, there's no one at the bar either. Oh dear me, this is not, not good. We're going to have to uh, get people employed here. Uh, we'll remove Michael's sword. Thank you. I'm sure if you if you're not going to turn up to do your to do your shift, then you really do have to uh, uh, unemployed. Does does that make it? Oh, I can take multiple of these. Ooh, okay. Um, Oh, bro ah, Sohan Yashbat. That's the guy who the sculptor is for. Sculpture is for. <laughs> um, who looks like they might make a good mixologist here? Um, Gail Hernandez. Uh, he's assigned. I think that's what the A means. Uh, Keo Rihanna. Yeah, you're probably all right. Oh, Diego, no, no, we won't have you as a mixologist. Pre Roberto Priestley, no. Um, Eddie Starr, um, should we give Michael his job back? No, we're going to give it to Ernest Varney, who is someone uh, I think we have uh, restyled, or at least um, Johnny restyled them. Uh, Holton Vosney. What, what, he was here earlier. Definitely. Um, unless there's a, a time on the job. I don't know. Okay, so wh what is Ericsson up to? I think he needs... To, where, where did I send Dre Dexter? Oh, darn. I, I was going to have him... Uh, 
con converse with uh, with Diego. There's nobody in the in the bar. Right, I think what we'll do is we will send Ericsson home and he will look in the newspaper, find a hotspot and go there. Actually, if I look at the map now, does it tell me any hotspots? Any? No? No? Absolutely no hotspots to be found anywhere. Oh, that's a shame. Actually, if I click on home, can I just um, tell him to read the paper and he'll come home anyway? <laughs> Uh, read, read, read. Uh, find discount classes. And check weekly events. I don't think it's that, is it? We'll read it. So presumably he's going to have to come home to do that. So it saves me doing two clicks. Johnny! Okay, she's being barked at by a dog. So, uh, Ethan is going to get to work. Splendid. Uh, Freya. Yeah. Use the potty. There you go. Oh, and Deborah's nearly finished her new her new painting. Oh, that is rather good, actually, isn't it? I like that. That's uh, that's very impressive. Oh, Daisy, be quiet. That's not a terribly good environment, I imagine, for a creative mind, is it? Yep. Yeah, but then again, I could be wrong. Deborah has just painted. A brilliant painting. It's valued at 639. Yep, that does look... If I if I do that, let's uh, spin around here and see if we can whoa, get a nice view of... There you go, that painting. That's not bad, is it? Definitely. I think it's most definitely worth 639 Samarians. Yeah, I, 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 I concur. So, Deborah, I think you'll sell it. And she has... I've got to press the space bar again. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let's go back to Deborah. Uh, she has uh, painted enough brilliant paintings to complete the proficient painter skill challenge. So if we check her skill journal, uh, except I'm not on Deborah anymore. There we go. Uh, painting, painting, painting. Number of brilliant painting. Proficient. Six brilliant paintings. Uh, yeah, she's not so good at the masterpieces though. And she hasn't done 30. How many has she done? Just 18. Because yeah, I haven't been terribly sort of um, committed, really dedicated to her craft. Uh, for which I, I do apologise, Deborah, but that should mean... Oh, she... Oh, ah, right. OK. Yeah, the funds to promotion was not the fund value she needed to achieve which I thought it was when we first came in here, it's the fun she needs to earn. So she's still got to earn another 1,600 simoleons before uh, she can get a job promotion. That's OK. Right, so we will uh, just send her in there just to deal with that. Uh, what's Dexter up to? Oh, Dexter, yes. <laughs> How's that, Jude? Hi, Jude. Good to see you. He pops up in quite a few of our venues. Hanging around, making the town look populated. Somebody, oh, Marcia Lawler. I'm not sure I remember seeing you before. We probably have. It's just that my memory is um, unreliable. Well, that's probably a, a, a good word for it. Okay, so Dexter, blinking heck, is is needs a fall to the brim. Is that is that possible? I, whoa! How did he achieve that? I'm mighty impressed. <laughs> OK. Um, yeah, so I think what he needs to do is he will go home and he will cook a dish. That will uh, give him that uh, that wish. He's not going to give a gift to Noaf. Uh, learn a new recipe, you could do that. He's not going to jam with Noaf either. That's 
Good. Okay, so let's send you home then, Dexter. <laughs> Seeing as your boyfriend has now just gone to work. Yeah. Okay, so what is... Uh, how much extra... We've got a fair bit to do here to get that promotion for Ethan. He's, I still haven't read that book that his boss gave him all those so many days ago. Um, yeah, that will build up his athletic skill, which appears to be a little bit lacking. Uh, conspire. Um, actually, let's, let's do a bit of the conspiracy thing today. Uh, although he's, he's a bit of a loner, we're not going to let that stand in our way. So Ericsson is at home somewhere. Where is where is Ericsson? Oh, you're sat outside. There you are. <laughs> okay. Oh, is that a hot spot? Shady Shamrock. Yes, I think that's just across the road. Um, How's, how's Johnny feeling? He's okay. Erica. Oh, Erica is swimming. Did you go and see her swimming? She did turn up at the pool. Oh, it looks like there might be other people here too. That's impressive. Who have we got? Nobody tending to the, uh, the coffee bar. Yeah, nobody in the dance room or the showers. And nobody uh, anywhere else on the lot. <laughs> oh, okay, that's um that's disappointing. So why are those cars there? Mm. Now there's a snack machine here, I think. Can we she's a bit a little bit peckish as we can see. Uh, that looks like it. Is that a snack machine? Buy candy, buy soda. So we will, uh, yeah, buy some candy. That's not the best thing to do, perhaps. But what choice do we have, I'm afraid? So um, Ericsson was going to go out to... Actually, he could go with, with, um, with Mummy, couldn't he? That would be nice, wouldn't it, actually? Yes! That's the sort of thing the good son does, isn't it? He sees because Mother Deborah is celebrating. Where is Deborah? Uh, where is Deborah? <laughs> oh, is she upstairs. Yes, um, she's celebrating that that brilliant painting. So I think she would most definitely like to visit the shady shamrock with her son. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, I am Ericsson, that's good. Okay, so we'll stop reading that. We're not going to see Ethan. We're going to focus in on the family at home. So Dexter's returned and uh, he can prepare a meal. Serve dinner. Um, Goopy Carbonara. Let's practice that one you've just learnt. Um, Deborah is uh, following Ericsson, presumably, over to the Shady Shamrock. And of course, our friend Ivan Hummel, husband of Desiree, is here, tending bar as usual. Anna Finster, paparazzi. As always, and uh, Vicky Howell is uh, not attending to the kitchen. Let's see if we can hire a chef. Shauna Salmon. Okay, cool. Right, Ericsson. Let's uh, buy a drink. Uh, let's uh, actually are you both hungry you're both a bit, bit hungry actually so you could have food here be nice if you could go up to the restaurant <laughs> and, uh, and buy some proper food Ooh, 152 152 simoleons for some fish and chips how big is this group 
Uh, I think we'll just have some pizza, thank you very much. <laughs> um, and Deborah will, will answer that phone. Answer the phone, there you go, my dear. Henry, who is Henry Locklear? Wants to go on a date with Deborah. Oh, I can't, I can't move the, I can't swing it round. While well, that uh, box is up, uh, no. No, absolutely not. I'm going to have to practice this tab mode thing a bit more. Oh, that is a big pizza. <laughs> Uh-oh, something's happening. Erica's curfew is in one hour. She may get caught by the police. Now, is Erica a sort of... Oh, that, that's, that candy bar didn't appear to do much. Oh, she... Oh, hang on, what's going on? Um, that didn't do much to sate her hunger. Um, no, she's not. Not yeah, she's not that rebellious. Um, let's actually see. Is there anybody at the barista bar here? Um, no. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how you're going to order that. Um, Hello, who are you? You, you, honestly, you. So let's let's get down to your level. You, sir, should be attending the bar, the coffee bar, and not out enjoying the facilities. However tired you are, Rashad, Rashad Ivy. I'm feeling we've come across you before, and I must admit, I'm not terribly impressed now. But no, Erica's going to have to go home to get her eats. So you can uh, spend as much time as you like not doing your, your job. He's going to... That, this is outrageous. <laughs> Honestly, that really is. Uh, oh. Dexter, we were going to have him preparing some food. Oh, that was quick. It's nice quality. Um, ah, he doesn't have any herbs or anything. I think Deborah's got a stack full of herbs. So she can tart up, if I can put it like that, she can tart up her meals. But uh, Dexter doesn't. Perhaps um, Deborah will... We'll share some of her herbs with him at some point. Become friends with Diego. If you find him again, yeah, we can do that. Visit a graveyard. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> there you go. Right. Uh, Daisy, how are you feeling? Oh, you need to uh, go outside, I think. Oh, who's that? Sammy the Cat. Uh, do that and let's see if you can socialize with the cat you never know in the meantime Dexter can attend to the mail anybody else in the house no nope, they're all out so uh, Dexter's the only one there by the look of it uh, where is Johnny oh no oh, oh there yeah, he's upstairs so he's putting Freya back into her uh, she doesn't need to be there. She's not tired. No. Well, jo Dexter can take care of that um, in a moment. But Johnny does have needs. Uh, he can have some leftovers. He can finish off that grilled salmon. And then he can probably go to bed, I think. I'll send him up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire. And we'll check in. Oh, they've got. Oh, it's got. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. I I thought when I said order food, I assumed he was going to order food down 
He has. <laughs> That's true. Oh, this 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 game, uh, honestly, it cracks me up at times. It really does. <laughs> okay, so he's ordered this super enormous, huge family-sized pizza for him and uh, Mother Deborah, and Deborah is is doing her darndest. She is eating the pizza, and obviously having a a chat with uh, son-in-law Ivan. Which is uh, awfully nice. There you go. Yeah, you see, because she she hasn't actually seen Desiree for for a little while, so she needs to catch up with her hubby. Uh, that's Desiree's hubby. Oh, and now's, now, what's she doing? What is she doing? Uh, nothing apparently. Uh, Bad. Oh, Badger's got lost. Alpha Fem. Oh, I hope she comes back. Uh, Erica's on her way home. That's fine. What is Ericsson up to? He's ordering more food from. Ah, sure. She did turn up. Shauna Salmon. <laughs> Why did he not hang around and eat the pizza that he ordered from, from the bar? This really is very ropey. Uh, meanwhile, Mother Mother Dearest is going to get drunk. <laughs> Ooh, Ericsson just got a gift in the email from Paige. Oh, that's nice. Now, does uh, Ericsson have it? In no, it I imagine will be in the family inventory. Uh, uh, the note attached reads: "I was thinking about you uh, and thought you might like this. Call me." Okay, and also in the mail, a letter for Johnny from Paisley Patterson. Oh, oh no, that is, oh, oh, wow. I mean, Paisley, I do believe, is, is slightly younger, uh, if you can just sort of make out from the, uh, from the photos there. She is slightly younger than Johnny, but she's his boss, or was his boss, when he was full-time employed at the uh, at Barney's Salon before he started doing more freelance work. That's, oh, I'm not sure I like that. But the trouble is, Johnny appears to be a real hit with the ladies. He really does seem to charm, charm them, yes. Uh, and I'm sorry, Paisley, but Johnny's not going to make those dreams come true. Uh, and he's also, oh my goodness, a letter from, from Shara Priestley. This is getting too much. <laughs> No. Oh. The, the, I might I might be slightly sort of putting this ever so slightly too politely, but there does appear to be love in the air. Because it appears that Ericsson has now got a letter. Um I'm not so great at writing these things and worse at saying them. But maybe you could ask me out sometime, if you wanted to. From Dexter Pruitt, his brother's boyfriend. His brother's serious boyfriend. This is, oh. Okay, so we do know. Where is Dexter? Yes, you can stand there looking. Yeah, definitely. I don't know about that. That's uh, that's not good. Uh, I want to get rid of these. Out of the way. Go, go. Where, where, where is Dexter? I don't want to be at the top. <laughs> Want to be focused on Dexter, you fellow. Do I need to be down. I do need to be down a level. Yes. I'm not sure I like what you're doing. I don't know. In a relationship with Ethan, and writing love letters to his younger brother Ericsson. That is not a thing I'm happy about. Yes. Do you know what? I think that is as good a place as any to bring this episode to a conclusion. Well, to stop, basically, the recording. <laughs> and uh, say that's it for now, folks. So, what have we got? Well, interesting times we do appear to be living in. So, Deborah is still painting. And is now in the process of getting rather drunk with her son-in-law. Uh, she's uh, completed another brilliant painting, uh, but she needs a bit more to earn a promotion. 
uh, Johnny has fixed uh, the washing machine or upgraded the washing machine so he's now got uh, one more step to upgrading his handiness which is a nice sort of wish for him we've discovered that Dexter is joining the culinary career uh, he's going to become a chef proper like Ethan, uh, we haven't seen much of Ethan today because uh, he spent most of it in bed, but he's now at work. And he will be uh, going up, I think. I'm not sure he'll get a promotion at the end of this day, but uh, he's, he'll, um, he'll, he'll have a good day at work. Ericsson has done a grand sculpture, uh, which he had to sell because he couldn't give it away to the person who asked for it. Because I don't know how to do that in the game. And the game, and it probably isn't even possible in the game. If it is possible for a sim to create an object like a metal sculpture off their home lot somewhere, somewhere else in town, can they put it in the family inventory? Can they actually give it to the person who demanded it or wanted it, perhaps more accurately, uh, as, as an opportunity? If you know how that's possible, if it's possible at all, do drop me a note in the comments box below. That'd be really much appreciated. Erica? Uh, she's had an interesting kind of day, uh, just sort of looking after herself, playing with the dog and swimming. Uh, she's just had a, a good weekend off, I think, really. And Freya has um, woken up, been fed, been changed, and uh, is now back in bed again. <laughs> and the dog is now socialising with a cat. That is kind of unheard of, isn't it? Yes. Someone's got fleas. Oh dear, that's not so good. Right, so yes, thank you very much for joining me today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've been Ajax Post, and this has been the Slade Dynasty Chronicles, the generation number four. If you've enjoyed this, click us that like button, the thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. But even better, if you've got any ideas, suggestions, criticisms even, recommend any ideas at all, anything to say, drop it out into the comments box below, that would be much appreciated. And if you've not done so already, why not subscribe to the channel? And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play video. Oh, these two little animals are so cute. Oh, now they don't like each other. So, yeah, from me, Ajax Post, until the next time. Bye-bye for now.